Hello everyone. My name is Harshit Bhutra and you're watching Digital Sun City. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and digital marketing. So, if you want to learn more of WordPress and digital marketing, then you can press the subscribe button below. That way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now, let's get started with this video. WP config file not only contains important settings but also tells your website to connect to WordPress database and generate authentication keys to secure WordPress sites. It can also enable WordPress debugging mode and save WordPress error logs. This helps in finding WordPress errors by identifying the plugins or scripts that are causing them. In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to set up WordPress error log in the WP config file. Now in order to access that file, you first need to go to your cPanel and then you need to go to your file manager. Now find the folder in which your WordPress is installed. In my case, it is public HTML. So I'll go to my public HTML folder. Now make sure that you have no hidden files. You can do that by enabling dot files and showing all the hidden files. Now search for wp-config file, right click on it and then select edit option. In the pop-up box, click on edit. Now we have to look for a line that says that's all stop editing happy blogging. So you can just find stop editing word as well if you want. If you want to find that line, it will probably land you to this line. Now once you have found this line, just before this line, we need to add the following code. Define WP debug log true. Now I'm also adding this code in the description. Now once you've added this code, there is a possibility that this code already exists in your debug file and it is set to false. So you can also search for wp underscore debug underscore log once in this file and then if it's set to false then turn it true and if you don't find anything then add this code just like I mentioned before. Now once you have added that this code will turn the WordPress debug mode on. However, if you use this debugging alone, you will see WordPress errors and warnings inside your admin area as well as the front page of your website. If you want your errors to be logged, then you will need to make a small change in the code line below it that says define WP debug false. Now you need to set this false to true. Now once you have done that, make sure you have saved the changes and then you can visit your WordPress website and access the pages that were resulting in errors or warnings. Now in your dashboard, you can see the warnings or error here. Now how to review error logs? It's a very simple method. Go back to the C panel where we left, click on reload and click on WP content folder. Now right click on the debug.log file here and then click on edit. It contains all the WordPress errors, warnings and notices that were logged. So this is how you can easily set up your WordPress error logs in WP config file in your WordPress website. I hope you like this video. It takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people. So please consider to subscribe. And if you have any questions or suggestions, then you can directly go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and then fill in the contact form with your question. I'll reply to that as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. Hey, before you quit, I have an amazing offer for you. I am giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers. These digital resources can be divided in two types. The first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. So as you can see, I have already started working on them. Now, to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. And then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.